migraines is another huge uh, area of benefit um, uh, for magnesium. Uh, there's direct uh, connection that um, magnesium can be a simple, inexpensive, safe, and well-tolerated option. Key here is the, the proper dosing uh, to actually reach and achieve replenishment. Um, this second study here uh, was, was able to show that about 60% of migraine sufferers are deficient in magnesium. And that actually correlates pretty much with my observation in the pharmacy. You can imagine whenever I get or used to get a prescription for triptan uh, drugs on, in, into my hands, I would right away use our magnesium ad card and um, check off the, the migraine checkbox to initiate a discussion about using uh, magnesium to help with migraines. And in my experience, all the I, I would have no exact number, but I would uh, estimate about five, six hundred people that I talked to on, on migraines. I would think that if dosed properly, around around sixty percent of patients dealing with chronic or regular migraines can practically walk away from this condition after replenishing their system with magnesium. The other forty percent are individuals that develop migraines based on hormonal fluctuations or other. Uh, subtypes like cluster headaches, and, and there's a quite large number of different types. But even those individuals that uh, suffer from migraines due to hormonal uh, fluctuations, um, following a certain um, monthly rhythm and cycle, uh, do very well and see uh, significantly reduced um, severity and frequency of migraine attacks. So this year is really a huge application and hugely successful.